Well, first of all, it was a gorgeous day. Today was really good. Good football day. It was nice and cool. It was a great atmosphere for, for getting better. Um, talk to the team about uh, making sure we improve some aspect of our game every day, and I think we were able to accomplish that today. Uh, last night was a great practice to start uh, the 15 practices that were allowed, and then uh, today just kind of took right off where, where last night took up where last night left off. Uh, anyway, um, I, I was pleased with the, the, the two day effort um, and we gotta get better tomorrow. We're gonna put the pads on okay. and uh, and go over to Johnson High School and get after them tomorrow. Right now, tomorrow you are gonna be at Johnson High School. Uh, will the community be able to come watch the practice or, cause I saw on the website that you were inviting the community to come see the uh, gentleman play. Well, that's right. That's um, that's kind of our, our deal. We, we want to make sure we send the right message to the public. Uh, the Huntsville being a very football-rich area, uh, we wanted to get out into the community, go take our show on the road, and uh, let folks uh, kind of see what product we have to consume. We're, we're very interested in engaging um, our potential fan base. And uh, this opportunity to go to J.O. Johnson High School is going to going to provide us a, a really good chance to uh, to get out there and let folks see us. So we're open. Um, we want folks to come and at least watch. Um, hopefully they'll, they'll find something in our program that they can kind of take ownership of uh, and invest. Okay. Now, Coach, even though it's only two days, who uh, who stood out more offense and defensively wide? Mm -hmm. Our defense stood out today. Um, Coach Johnson really understands how important it is that you have a defense that can fly around, okay. uh, that can run sideline to sideline and, and gang tackle and things like that. And although we can't tackle yet, um, you can see elements of exactly what he's trying to teach those guys. That, right. uh, so our defensive coaches, uh, kudos to those guys. They really got after us today. Now, Coach, uh, what have you enjoyed most about practice? Even those two days, what's the, I guess, the beginning or the middle of the end? What have you enjoyed the most? I've enjoyed not having to meet and talk about budgets. I've enjoyed uh, getting an opportunity to get out and, and do what you know, I really love to do, and that's coach football. Um, I'm, I'm still a position coach. I mean, even though I'm the head coach, I still get to coach a position, right. which is you know kind of a bonus for me. It makes me happy. I, I get a chance to do the thing that, uh, that, that I, have, I have a lot of fun doing and, and I'm committed to. Um, I've, I've taken on the tight end, so hope I won't screw those guys up too much. Oh, you're welcome, Coach. And one last <laughs> question. Uh, what are some of the weaknesses have you seen among the team? Um, you know, we talked about a lack of focus at times. Uh, we talked about not finishing. Um, and, and But that's that's part of the growth process. Mm -hmm. That's part of why we get out here in, in the spring and we're able to go through those 15 practices. we got to teach our team how to practice. We got to teach them how to finish plays, how to finish a series, how to finish a game. And um, those are the things that, that right now we're going to focus and, and try to work on. We've got some goals set and we're going to you know, kind of mark our progress through some benchmarks and, and hopefully our team will get that before we're done.